Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. You know the drill. This is lesson 3, multiplying. Let's hop right in, we got 6 questions to do. Alright. First one we have is 12 times 3. This is one that you could or even should be able to do in your head, but we will show it here just for the process. We take the number on the bottom and we multiply it by both of these numbers. So 3 times 2 is 6, and in the next column we're going to go 3 times 1 is 3. The answer is 36. If you just realize that it's 36 and you're like, man, I could have done that in my head, uh, next time definitely do that, but that is okay. We have a similar one here. Next for number 2, 24 times 20. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what to do, but you could do this in your head or a different way. 0 times 4 is 0, and 0 times 2 is 0. We take this first number and we multiply it by both of these. And then, when we have another digit in the bottom number, we are going to do something first. We're going to add a 0 here. It's a placeholder. It shifts everything over to the left because we're multiplying the tens number instead of the ones number. So 2 times 4 is 8 and two times two is four, and we're gonna add these together, but adding 480 plus zero, well, that's just 480. Uh, I apologize for that little trick there, but zeros plus, yeah, that's 480. Uh, let's do the next one. We got 17 times four. This is one where, um, yeah, let's do it. 17 times four. So 4 times 7 is 28. So this is the first time we have a number that is larger than 10 when we multiply these together. So we're going to have an 8 here, and we're going to put the 2 right up here like we would when we are adding and we have extra to do. So that's going to be in the next column, uh, a 2. So 28 is shown here. And then 4 times 1 is 4. And we're going to add up the columns again. So 8 and there's nothing underneath it is 8. But then we add this. Again, we said the 2 was part of this next column, so 2 plus 4 is 6. And we get the answer, 68. Okay? So when you have a number multiplied um, by the top number and it gets larger than 10, we're going to have to do this carrying business to make sure that we do that correctly and carefully when we're doing these. Let's do some more problems. Let's do number 4. Number four, we have 28 times 23. Okay, so three times eight is 24. So I'm going to have a four and then a two in the next column, all small. And then we're going to have three times two is six. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next row. So I'm gonna add the zero, that's a placeholder. And 2 times 8 is 16. So I'm going to have the 6, I'm going to add a little 1 in the next column. And 2 times 2 is 4. So now we're going to be able to add all these together to get our answer. So 4 plus 0 is 4. Uh, 6 plus 6 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. So we're going to do four here and we're gonna carry the one just like we would when we add and then four plus one plus one is six that's six hundred and forty four for our answer and if you're to check any of these with your calculator I check them this is correct let's go to a couple of couple more for good measure we have 22 times 11 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. Since I have two digits on the bottom, I'm going to bring a 0 as a placeholder. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. We're going to add all those up. 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 2 goes down. So 242 is our answer for number 5. And let's do the last one. Number six is 34 times eight. Eight times four is 32. So I'm going to have a two and a miniature three, right? Because it goes in the next column, it's going to be added. And then eight times three is 24. 
So I'm going to write 24. And it might look like you have nothing to add, but you do. The 3 and the 4 have to be added together to get 272. Again, please check these calculator if you're unsure. Um, but if you are, need help doing this, definitely ask. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you soon.